Right, hello everyone, Mr. Sunshine coming to you live right here and today we've got a special treat. What we have here is a fantastic Rolls Royce Corniche convertible in primo condition. This thing is absolutely phenomenal, no question about it. And what we're going to do is we're going to top off the engine oil today. That's right. As you can see the inside of this car, it is absolutely perfect. Phenomenal in every sense of the word. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead, we're going to get the car open. We're going to reach in. Oh, we can't reach in from here. We'll have to go to the other side. And we're going to open up the hood. Now, there's a, always something with a Rolls Royce. You've always got to know what you're doing here. Mr. Sunshine, Rolls Royce technician. Eddie knows the game better than anybody. As you can see, the beautiful wood dash. Look at this. There's the ignition switch in the center console. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure. Look at this. Beautiful shape, skin, seat, floor mats. Here is the release for the trunk, right, or the hood, right here. This is it right here. You have the one right in the center. You also have the one over here, the chrome one. That's to release the emergency brake. All right, so now that we have that pulled, just like that, that now raised the trunk open. So now we're going to come out here. We're going to watch the doors here because this is a spectacular car. The car is in excellent, perfect condition. We're going to go ahead and raise that beauty. Look at that. There it is, and there it is, the big Rolls-Royce motor in all its glory and all its grandeur there. This is the carbureted version here. As a matter of fact, Mr. Sunshine uh, has worked on the carburetors. We rebuilt the carburetors here. We've also, on, on other vehicles, this one's been all original. You have your uh, radiator expansion tank over there. We actually had those. My, uh, out of my nine that I've had, we were able to remove those. We had to have that repaired and resealed air C unit. Uh, the air conditioning compressor is actually a General Motors compressor uh, from an, uh, General Motors along with the power steering uh, pump right there. That is a General Motors. Uh, you have your Rolls-Royce distributor back here along with all of the uh, window washers and all the relays and everything else. Now, Rolls-Royce, one of the finest motor cars made today. Uh, we're gonna go to the other side and uh, we're gonna have my assistant yep. Yep. We're going to have my assistant give me the oil, and we're going to show him. Uh, if you can let me through there for just a moment there, we're going to get ready to yep. dump in the oil here. So let me get through here. All right, so now what we have here is you have your brake reservoir here. You have your oil filler here. Now, the oil filter, uh, the filler, is you push this down. And this raises up just oh, okay. like that. Okay. All right. As you see, when it shuts down, it locks itself down. All right. Rolls Royce always had something. Uh, rolls. So you're going to push that down. It's spring loaded. And you're going to lift this up right there. Now you can look right down into the throat of that engine. Now, what you also want to do, you want to lift up on the oil dipstick. As you can see, it is low on fluid right now. So we're going to put some fresh oil in there. We're going to show you what's going on here. There's the full mark. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's way down low. So these handle about 11 to 12 quarts of oil. So we're going to set this down here like this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the fresh oil. Now you're always going to use Castrol 20W50. That's the best oil to use. It's recommended by all of the um, Rolls-Royce technicians. So we're going to go ahead and just gently pour this in down there now it's going to take a few quarts of oil even though it takes 12 quarts it's probably down maybe three quarts of oil so you would know because once you were running it you would start to hear the valves tap and when the valves start tapping you're going to have problems because it still has oil but it's starving for oil now another main thing you want to do every time you want to change to put oil in there the cap has a little plastic around there not on this particular one was taken off but other ones if you don't take that off and you dump it in there you're going to dump that plastic down in there now you've got a big problem because that's going to circulate stick in one of the valves and now you're going to have a valve stuck and you're going to have big problems more than you ever thought good possible point. very good point right so you see we took the, the plastic cap off there's the plastic yep. cap yep. and we're going to just gently just dump it right down in there Oh, that liquid gold 20W50 oil. The engine is as spotless and clean and untouched. This is an unmolested Rolls-Royce uh, engine here. A lot of them, they've had everything removed off of them. They took off 
the uh, vacuums here, all of that. You see, when I, if I had that what, that clip, it could very well fall down easily. Here, very and you'd easily. have a real big problem. That's true. Very, so what we're going to do, we point. put two quarts in. We have this cleaned, and we're going to stick this back down there just to see if it has showed up on the dipstick yet. So by pushing that all the way down, we're going to raise this up. And now it's just at the tip, so we're going to have to put some more oil in there to keep it going. Now over there on the right, you can see the air cleaner. That's the air cleaner over there. Uh, down in there, you actually have to unscrew the side, pull that out, and it's a round filter. This one here, uh, this I believe was a 1974 Rolls-Royce Cornish convertible. This particular engine would have the cartridge air uh, oil filter in it. There's a cartridge and a later on with the spin on where you would spin it on like the red, but the other one has a housing with the uh, oil cartridge in it with a, with a gasket that you have to have put in there and uh, put it in properly to make sure that it doesn't leak, just like anything else. We're gonna put another quart of oil in there. This would be your braking system. You're gonna be using RR363 brake fluid. You can't use any other kind of fluid. The Castrol RR363 is made especially for this Rolls Royce. It's got a higher temperature rating, so because it gets hot, and the other ones would actually fail, and then you'd have a problem with your braking system. Now, if you need, if you have an engine light on, or a brake light one or brake light two, that would mean that one of the accumulators, uh, the gas has leaked out of it, and Mr. Sunshine, uh, Rolls Royce technician, can rebuild them accumulators. That's right, you go to a dealer, you're looking at about $3,500 for that, but we're gonna do it at a fraction of the price. So if you're thinking, if you have a Rolls Royce with a brake light one or brake light two on, uh, your accumulator underneath would need to be rebuilt, to recharged. So we're gonna go ahead and put this down in here. We're gonna pull this back up. All right, there we are. Now we're already up there. We gotta put in uh, another quart or two to get that all the way up. So we're gonna continue putting some more oil in there. How much time does it take? Oh, it goes down right now, yeah. Is that it? Well, we're going to need to get what, some more then. What, five? Okay, well, five, we're going to have to go get some more. It was really low. Yeah, it was really low. So what we'll do... Big sump in this car, huh? Yeah, there's there's twelve. It takes twelve quarts of oil. Twelve quarts in the sump. Okay. Yeah, twelve quarts in the sump. Yeah. Like that. All right. What we'll do now? Pull this back out. Push it all the way down. Because that oil just goes right down to the bottom there. Because mm -hmm. the, the oil filter is already filled from the oil from four. So right. let's take right. a look at where we're at now. All right. Here we are. We're right in. All right. We're right here in within the limit there it is you're on the lower end i would actually use one more quart of one oil in there because you're at the minimum so you can run it like that but it would be better to put an extra quart in there and put it up to the maximum yeah. so you're at the limit you're you're actually in a safe zone right now so if you had one more quart of oil uh, that's all it would require and then uh, you would be good to go so we'll go ahead and close this just actually drops down you push this down it locks it in and it seals it. And, so that it's and like, how do you open it again? Just show there's it. A, there's a push Clip. here, right here. It's a spring-loaded push. Yeah. And once you push that down, you can pop gotcha. that up like that. Gotcha. Do it one more time. There it is. Push, push that really down. Good look at it. Yep. And you hit that, and it drops Perfect. it right up. Yep. Yep. Push it back down. All right, so now we'll just go ahead. And as a matter of fact, take a look at this. Even let it sit there for the for 60 seconds. You, 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 put it more down More of it got down into the sump, right? More went down to the sump. There it is. We're still, we still, we have a little higher, but it, it, you, you should put one more quart of oil in there. Right. Be one more quart of oil just to be on a safe side. You're better to have it filled to the max than at the minimum because if you drive it and it goes down a little bit lower, even though you're, it's safe now because we just put five quarts of oil in there. Right. So there it is, Mr. Sunshine, Rolls Royce Technician Eddie. We got enough oil in there. It's, a, it's able to run. Uh, next time you're out, get one more quart of oil, stick it in there. You know how to put it in. Make sure that that black piece is gone because somebody at one time dropped one down in there and actually went through the and, and, and locked up a valve. 
Oh. And now you're stuck because it costs about $9,000 yeah. to have this head taken out, yep. reshave, get the and make sure it doesn't drop the valve because then you destroy the engine. Right, that's right. So there you go. You're in great shape. We're going to close this back down. As a matter of fact, while we're here, let's um, check the power steering fluid. Uh, radiator would probably be all right over here. The, uh, the braking system, they're both within the limit, so the RR363 brake system is not leaking. It's in great shape. It's right at where it's supposed to be. Let's go around the other side, and we'll take a look at the power steering to make sure there's enough power steering fluid in there. That would just use regular power steering fluid, and we will be good to go. Here we go. This is the power steering. It's the same as General Motors, and as you look at it, there it is. We're we're actually uh, we're a little low on that if you have power steering fluid you can see where it says add we had to put a little bit more in there uh, and then went just enough because once it gets hot it'll come up so we got to put a little more power steering fluid in there just to make sure it's topped off and you'll be good to go all right there you go miss sunshine rolls royce technician eddie live in sunny south florida thank you for watching